Hello friends, welcome to Unity Essentials video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand Game Object Menu. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed Game Object Menu commands with respect to creating game objects, working with hierarchy of game objects and prefabs. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Game Object Menu commands with respect to aligning game objects. Here we have move to weave command, align with weave command, align weave to selected command. We understand these three commands step by step in this video tutorial. I am going to create some scenario here. I say game object, 3D object, plane. I scale it in x axis by 5 units, scale it in z axis by 5 units. You can see that I have created a plane here. I create a cube. I say game object, 3D object, cube. I scale it in y axis by 10 units. I click outside. I select the cube, hold down the V key to enable the vertex snapping and I snap it to this corner. I rotate around, say Ctrl D to duplicate, I drag it to the other side, hold down the V key and snap it. Rotate around, I say Ctrl D to duplicate, I drag it to the other side, hold down the V key and snap it. Rotate around, Ctrl D to duplicate, drag it to the other side, hold down the V key and snap it. I create one more cube. I say game object 3D object cube. I scale it in X axis by 3 units, Y by 3 units and Z by 3 units. I move it up. I select this cube. I press F key to focus. And I just zoom out a little bit and rotate around. I want this cube 4 which is not visible in the scene somewhere here. So how do we move that cube 4 which is not visible in the scene to this place? We take help of move to weave command. Move to view command allows us to move a selected game object in the hierarchy to the center of the viewport guys. Here we have the viewport looking in this direction. Somewhere here we have the center of the viewport guys. If I select the cube 4, go to game object menu and say move to view, you can see that cube 4 is moved to the center of the viewport guys. Now I can place it wherever I want. I just move it a little bit back up. I hope you guys are clearly understanding what move to view command does. Let me set this cube 3 and press the F key to focus and I rotate around, zoom out a little bit and move it here. Okay. I want somewhere here in this place that cube 4 which is not visible in the scene, right? I set the cube 4, go to game object menu and say move to view. You can see that we got that cube 4 in this place, it is moved. Remember that move to view command only moves the selected game object. It is not going to rotate or do something. Understanding? If you want to move a game object which is somewhere far in the scene view and you want it exactly in the viewport center where you are looking then you just select the game object in the hierarchy go to game object menu say move to view that's it next command we have is align with weave command align with weave command does the same thing as the move to view does but it is also going to rotate the game object guys with respect to the viewport rotation align with weave command allows us to align a selected game object in the hierarchy to the exact position and the rotation of the viewport. Align with view command is going to move and rotate the selected game object to the exact position and rotation of the viewport guys. Now let me demonstrate that. Here we know that the cube 4 is only moved, it is not rotated. Now I select this cube 2 and press the F key to focus. Here we have the cube 2 and I rotate around here. Okay, I just rotate around this cube 2. I'm just moving it up. Now what I want, I want that cube 4 somewhere here and it is also looking in the direction of the viewport. I set the cube 4, go to game object menu and I say align with view. When I say align with view, what happened guys? You don't see cube 4 visible there. Actually, cube 4 is placed exactly at the position of the viewport guys. If I go back, I just zoom out. You can see if I zoom out, here we have the cube 4 guys and it is also looking downward you can see that in that direction let me select this cube 3 and press the f key to focus here we have the cube 3 i just rotate here and move it up now i select the cube 4 i say game object say align with view now what happened the cube 4 is placed at the position of the viewport and it is also rotated with respect to the viewport guys if i zoom out you see the cube 4 is already moved and rotated with respect to the viewport position and rotation. That's what the align with view command does. Aligns means moves and rotates guys. It is very useful sometimes. 
Now let me select this cube 4 and reset its position, rotation and scale. You can see here we have the cube 4. I scale it in x axis by 3 units or maybe 5 units, 5 units, 5 units, x, y, z I scaled and I press the F key to focus on it. Here we have this uh, cube 4. Now I select this directional light and I make it little bit dark. Okay, made it dark. Next thing, I'm going to create a spotlight. I say game object, light and spotlight. I created a spotlight you can see here. I increase its range more to maybe 30 as well as uh, I increase the intensity more and it is going to cast shadow. I say soft shadows it should cast and no bounce intensity. So here we have the spotlight guys. Okay now what I want this spotlight should emit the light in some angle exactly as I am looking now. So in this direction it should cast the light guys on this cube. So I select the spotlight, go to game object menu, say align with view. When I say align with view, check out your spotlight is placed at the position of the viewport and it is rotated with respect to the viewport rotation. If I rotate around, you see that it is casting the light in this direction. Now I can create one more light and cast a light in another direction. Maybe in this direction I can cast a light, right? So how do I do that guys? I select the game object, say light and I say here a spotlight. I just increase its range to 30. I just change the color to maybe red. I increase the intensity more, no bounce intensity. It is going to have a soft shadows, casting the soft shadows. And now I select this spot a light one. I say game object, say align with view. You can see that it is already placed and rotated with respect to the viewport position and rotation. You can see that. Yeah. I hope you guys are clearly understanding what the align with view command does. Align with view command is very very useful. Now I just change the layout. I go to default to 2 by 3 layout. Now we can see here the scene view and the game view. I just zoom out here scene view. Okay. Now what I want, I want to show the same view in the game view also. How do we do that? Now I just need to align this main camera with respect to the viewport guys. So what I do, I select the main camera, go to the game object menu, say align with view. You can see now, we are seeing the same thing inside the game view that we are seeing in the scene view. And what happened here is camera is placed and rotated with respect to the viewport guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood how this align with view command is useful. And the last command we have is align view to selected game object. So align view to selected, what it does is it allows us to align the viewport itself to the exact position and rotation of the selected game object. Align view to selected command allows us to move and rotate the viewport to the exact position and rotation of the selected game object. For example, I have a spotlight here. Okay, uh, let me select this spotlight. I want to change this viewport with respect to this spotlight location and direction. What we do is we select the spotlight one. I just say game object and I say align view to selected game object. Align view. See that? Now your viewport is now looking through the spotlight one. Understanding? So here we have the spotlight guys. So you can see your view with the help of some other game object. You can move or align the viewport with respect to some other game objects rotation. Understanding? Let's take I want to through, see through the main camera again. So if I want to see through the main camera, I select the main camera. Okay. I say game object align view to selected. You see whatever you are seeing in the game view, you are seeing the same thing in the unity scene. So now the viewport is exactly at the position of the main camera and the viewport is also rotated with respect to the main camera guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Move to view command, align with view command, align view to selected. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. In the upcoming video tutorials, we get more information. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.